forward to it. But we'll watch this space. We're going to just move on to our final topic of uh, tonight, John. And it's, um, it's all about that. Nick Stahl. Remember that chap? Um, Baita. He, um, John, I remember him, um, oh, I'm saying maybe that. the mid-2000s. Um, he was in a spot of ball. I think he went missing. I remember him going missing. I don't know. I've not read if there's any mention of it in this article, but he um, he had a few problems, and I, I remember it was reported. <laughs> Is Nick Stow still missing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, well, apparently he's not because they've actually tracked him down to ask him this question. Terminator <laughs> Threes, John Connor. Who is this from? Would love to return for a sequel. I think it was maybe about 10, 15 years ago, John. No, he checked you? himself into rehab, Steve, and yeah. it was in May 2012. All right, I uh, thought it was a lot earlier. Uh, in December 2012, yeah. he, he, he was arrested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a John Connor himself, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> easy money. Um, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines star Nick Stahl would love to return for another movie would. in the Terminator franchise as John Connor. So would Edward follow him? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we know what happened to him, poor Ed. But um, Stahl recently sat down with Comic Book to talk about his upcoming thriller, Hunter Hunter. When asked about returning to the Terminator franchise, Stahl explained that he hasn't heard anything but would love to return for an, another movie as John Connor. Stahl's full quote from his interview can be read below, and I'm just going to read that because it's very short yes. anyway. He said, no, short answer. <laughs> I haven't heard anything about a new Terminator movie. I don't it's not know, very man. short, Nick. I did. <laughs> what should I did of short? And I was there. So, yeah, I <laughs> wish I had a more exciting answer for you, but that's it. I would jump at the opportunity. I love those movies. I grew up watching... There was only two before you. I what are you talking about. I grew up watching Terminator <laughs> movies and was just thrilled to be part of that role in that franchise. So, yeah, that would be something I would love to do. He's 41. Yeah, he's saying he grew up with the movies. There was only Terminator 41. 1 and 2 at that point. And John Connor wasn't in the first movie, the character. So. But I get what he's saying, John. He's... Listen... You've got to put yourself in these <laughs> actors' positions. They're getting interviewed, and the interview is taking the opportunity to ask one of the most obvious questions. Yeah. Um. You know, and he, he's nice enough to give him an answer, although it's not a short answer. Um. <laughs> Nick Style for me is, is a very unlucky. Up. He's a very unlucky chap in in regards to, um, the position of that character. Um, because for so long. 91 to 2003, everyone knew Edward Furlong as John Connor. Someone had to step into those shoes. And um, no offence no, no, no offense to <laughs> Nick Stahl, but he's not a Christian Bale. No. He's not in that level of um, stardom. Certainly um, isn't. But one thing Terminator 3 did serve and Nick Stahl was to allow um, Christian Bale to come in um, without the sort of hang-ups that yeah. he would have had to have put up with why is Edward Furlong not in Terminator 3? Continuity is right out the window now. It's a bit jarring to see him like this. You know, he doesn't look like him. He doesn't act like him. It's just a totally different guy. Yeah. And I can understand that. That's why I think um, Christian Bale, um, obviously for his acting ability, he's got the gig. Um, no one really questioned the sort of but he's nothing like Edward Furlong. No one asked, asked that question because it's Christian Bale. Yes. Nick Stahl, on the other hand, um, came into the franchise. Terminator 3 is not the worst Terminator film in my book. Mm -hmm. It's still Genesis, but Terminator 3 is a remake of Terminator 2 to an extent, and that's where people have a problem with it. It didn't really carry the story forward, but the Star Wars sequel trilogy, um, it just didn't get to a point where it carried on the story or anything mm -hmm. like that. But I think... Um, it was a good film. I loved the ending. I loved the ending to Rise of the Machines. Yeah. Um, very depressing ending, but it was a great ending. It was ending. Nuclear Bunker, wasn't it? And he wasn't the problem in it. I thought he, his performance was great. It was a good John Connor, but um, I, I don't think they're going to go down that road of reinstating him as John Connor. No. If they were going to do it, I think the first protocol would be Christian Bale. I don't think he would want to do it now. But the question is, John, Terminator franchise, this is where I'm getting at, how long do you think they have to leave this if they if it is coming back now I know you said they should just probably bury it um, but if it has to come back at some point how long a gap would you leave this infinite <laughs> Stephen, I wouldn't bring it back I just wouldn't bring it back I think it should have stayed a duology when mm. Jim Cameron was in charge of it as soon as he walked away dead finished don't go back to it again. It's, it's, don't look it back in anger. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I like, was it Judgment Day? Was that T3? I know that was T2. What was yeah, it? Rise of the Machines, Rise Terminator of the Machines, 3. Yeah. I didn't mind it. 
Talk wasn't to too the bad. hand. Wasn't the worst. Wasn't mm. amazing. Wasn't a patch in the first two. I liked Salvation. I thought it was absolutely fine. Wait it was till different. your turn, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is that the one with the female Terminator? Yeah. 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 The machine, TX yeah. or something like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. She, she, she get frozen or something. I can't recall how she died. Um, but that may have been Robert Patrick. I can't remember. I can't actually. recall how she she snuffed it. Yeah, crushed or something. Oh, or crushed skull get crushed. Lad. That's what always happens, isn't it? Yeah. It was like uh, dark fate. Yeah, crushing a grinder. No, I don't want it, Stephen. I mean, there's been elements that have been okay in these movies, but they've never quite recaptured the brilliance of the first two. And it's because James Cameron stepped away to do other things. That it's his brainchild. Yeah. When he moved away, it should and have died. Fault. Yep. It is his fault because he keeps allowing these guns, aka uh, Tim Miller, to come back. Guns who like to attack the primary dam- demographic yeah. for not watching a movie. <laughs> Tim Miller's desperate for a Star Wars yeah, yeah, he's, he's, yeah. he's, got, he's got all the right sort of credentials. Absolutely. Attack quality. your fan base. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alienate your movie yeah. to your core demographic. That's a way to make money. Well done, Tim. Shithead. But wait, Stephen, as a sort of more personal thing, do I think Nick Stahl uh, is capable of coming back? Absolutely not. I've been looking through the guy's career. <laughs> Johnny is he is he is um, he is appearing in this upcoming thriller Hunter Hunter. Now come on, <laughs> wait, hey guys, Kiria. Yeah. Oh, no wonder, no wonder he went, no wonder he went missing in two thousand and twelve. Had I went missing too, if that's what my filmography looked like. We've seen movies uh, after. Uh, I mean, he done Thin Red Line. That was a great movie, uh, but that was ninety eight. Uh, things went down considerably. Was before Terminator, yeah, Terminator Three came in two thousand and three. Hot in the heels of Twist. Never heard of it. Sin City, he was in Sin City. Yeah, Sin City was decent. I recall that, yeah. Sleepwalking, quid pro quo, uh, my only, my one and only, uh, as blood runs deep, the chameleon, burning palms, everyone knows everything will happen before you die. Mirrors 2, <laughs> guys, it was the first John, Mirrors. This is the cost of John Connor. Uh, Calamity, Dead Awake, yeah. Scopers, Afghan Look, Afghan Look, 388 Letter Avenue, on the inside, Lock and Key, they've done a TV show about that now. Uh, what I'm getting at, in a sense, is that the guy hasn't had a career. Uh, since um, it's almost like Robbie Savage, I'm feeling like John Terry here back in the day. I'll take criticism from people who have done something, but I'll not take criticism from people like Robbie Savage who haven't had a career. This is almost like what I'm doing. I've not had a career in film, but this guy said even. I mean, he's had a career in film, but it's not your right home about. Well, so it, no, it's, he's not it's coming back. It's probably more impressive Connor. than Edward Furlong's yeah, career. To yeah, be fair. and that's why John <laughs> Edward Furlong's not playing John yeah. Connor either. He played him as his sort of twelve-year-old self, and then get shot in the back. I put one in your back. So it's not going to happen because they don't want the character. They killed the character off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like Han Solo, he gets stabbed, he falls down a huge big chasm and then the planet implodes. They don't want the character. They want to continue with this little Hispanic character. It's like John Connor Light. Yeah. The actor himself isn't good enough to portray the character again and Christian Bale doesn't want to portray the character again. Jim Cannon's fed up with franchises, he's walked away and we've got shitheads like Tim Miller who are not capable of making that a decent Terminator movie, so all in all, they should just wrap it up really, because it's, it's dead and buried. 